Okay, for those who watch my YouTube channel, this is my latest creation. This is my multi gauge track for seven and a quarter, which is the out these out of two rails. There, five inch gauge and three and a half inch. So I can take in all these different scales, plus I can run some G scale in here because it's close enough to 45 mil. And to go with this is my new signal. It's an LED signal, three color aspect, and a little rotary switch on the side for manual operation. So you've got the red, yellow and green for whichever position you want to have it set in. And if you have someone like a signal master to operate it, they, they could set the signal for you. Down here will be the um, signage, or signage on it. With that you'll have whatever you want on there. And it's welded onto a railway base plate just for a bit of railway um, authenticity you might say. I've used the idea of it to have the thickest part at the front, the thinnest part at the back, so the signal leans backwards. That's the side from one side. Try to get the correct profile for these. And this is the rotary switch here. Now, come down this side. I know my paint works not necessarily the best down here, but shh, don't, don't bother about that. But certainly, by being able to rotate the switch, you get to see all three change back. If I go one notch further, I can switch it off there. And underneath here, if you can see it, there's a simple secondary switch. For switching lights on and off, that's enough position, one position. So either way, if I want to switch these things off, I've got second place to switch my signals off. So this is it from the back. There's me train up under that cover. It's only 14 metres worth of track I can play on currently at the moment will be longer eventually, be about uh, 30 odd metres worth and possibly longer if I can do it. But certainly that's how these things look from the back. I'm making two of them at the moment for my own railway. But if anyone is interested in getting one of these made, I'm quite happy to make them. And by the time I include my labour costs and that, you're probably looking around 100 odd bucks me to make one of these for you. So if anyone's interested, please uh, get in contact with us, let us know. Go via my Kev's Workshop website, if you like. And yeah, let me know you want one of these signals making. I am taking the expressions of interest at this moment. So hey, look, you know, if these things sell quite well, and intend building, say, some boom gates, level crossing style signals, whatever. Uh, yeah, I'm going to do upper quadrant, lower quadrant type signals or um, anything else if need be. So yeah, feel free, contact us via Kev's Workshop if you like, or via my YouTube channel. Thank you.